Hi you guys, it's your girl Jenna Nicole here. Welcome back to my channel. I know a long time no see. I'm going to be giving you guys a complete life update. So much has happened in these last two months. I really wanted to record my journey as a single mom. First time single mom um, from start to finish with y'all. Those first few weeks of having a newborn, especially doing it by yourself, is very challenging, okay? So even when I wanted to record, it's just like no girl like it was just too much i think i did start a vlog when my son was like two weeks or three weeks but i never posted it i never finished it my son is now two months old this is probably going to be a long lengthy vlog um because i just have so much to update you guys on so yeah right now i am i just got done getting dressed i did my makeup i just put this little active wear set on um i can show you guys the body okay i'm actually i weigh a lot less than I did when I originally got pregnant. So, yeah, I think I'm like probably like 20 pounds down from like even my original weight. So this is what I'm looking like. Um, I did just have my first. This is probably TMI. I did just have my first period. So this is the my first period after giving birth. Just ended like literally yesterday slash today. So. I am still a little bit bloated, but for the most part, the body is body and like, I love my mom bod, okay? So much has happened in these two months. <laughs> I have cried so many nights, okay? So many sleepless nights, so many nights where I have been crying my eyes out, like, why did I do this? I never wanna do this again. Like, y'all, it's been a lot of ups and downs. Like, I even thought for a second that I might've had postpartum depression, but, the only reason why I feel like I don't have it is because when things are bad, like, I'm just, like, crying. I'm going through the emotions. But when things are good, I feel really good. And I noticed that, is that my son crying? Another thing about being a mom, you always feel like you hear your kid crying. But <laughs> could be him. I don't know. I noticed people say, like, when they had postpartum depression, when things were good, they still were, like, sad. And they still didn't feel happy, like they still have the same negative feelings. And for me, I don't feel that way. Like right now, we're having, me and my son, we're having a really good week. Like things are going really great. I feel like I'm starting to like, you know, I'm starting to get a hang of things. Like things are starting to go a little bit better for me. So I feel happy. Like when things are good, I feel good. When things are not so good, I don't feel so good. So I don't really know. You know, I'm still like, mm, I don't really know if I have, I don't think I have postpartum depression. I just think that I just, when things are bad, I feel it. When things are good, I feel it. Like, I just be feeling it. Um, another thing too I want to update you guys on, I just want to give a shout out to my family in general. Like, my dad, he buys stuff for my son, um, my brothers. Like, I just want to thank them and I, I especially want to thank my mom because, y'all, my mom helps me so much. Like, if I'm overwhelmed or if I need help, like... I need to utilize her help a little bit more because, you know, she'd be like, do you want me to take them? And I'm like, no, 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 no. But she is like so good. So every Friday she watches my son. My son's name is Jariah, by the way. So she watches Jariah. And that's basically my day where I can just go and do whatever I want to do. So if I want to go out to eat, if I want to go to the bar, if I want to go to the movies, if I have a hot day, you know, <laughs> like whatever it is that I want to do, it's like Fridays is my days to like decompress and just have me time and i can't thank my mom enough like she helps me so much so today's friday she actually works today but um she was like when i get off work she gets she gets off work later so she gets off at seven and she was like if you don't mind going out around you know later today then i can still keep dry i have no problems with that and i was like ooh, because i usually go out like around four and then like around seven eight nine is usually when i come back to pick up my son so tonight is going to be the first time where i do that i am going to go hit up the happy hour bar um it's going to feel weird because like i said i usually don't go out that late but i'm gonna do that today so yeah i'm just going to show you guys my new life as a mom there are some things where i'm like i don't know if i want to talk about that for example jariah's dad um <laughs> i don't know if i want to discuss that because so much has happened <laughs> I'll just say this and I'm just gonna leave it here basically if he can't deal with me then he doesn't want to deal with Jariah and that for me I just 
I'm just gonna leave it there, okay? I'm just gonna leave it there. I don't even know if I wanted to say that, but yeah, I just have no respect for guys like that. Like, he was already, I already knew he really wasn't gonna be involved too much. If you watch my video where I announced my pregnancy, you guys already know the way he reacted and the stuff he said, but you know, he did, we did have a conversation and it seemed like we were going somewhere, but um, you know, he hit me with something and I set a boundary and then it's like, now he don't really want to, if he can't deal with me the way he want to deal with me, then he ain't really trying to, okay? So I'm just going to leave it there. That's that. So, you know, I'm going to be thugging it out. Single mom, like I already knew I was going to be, okay? Um, just going to send a prayer. But yeah, so that's the update on that. Going to keep it cute. But I'm excited. I'm excited to be back with y'all. Um, I do need to finish getting dressed. I have to take my hair down out of this clip. Oh, I need to put on my perfume. Today's video is sponsored by Dossier. I'm going to show you guys the perfume that I'm going to wear today. It's literally my favorite, y'all. I love Dossier down. So, yeah, let's go do that. Let's go finish getting dressed. And I do have some stuff to finish around the house, like his laundry. I already did his bottle. So, yeah, y'all just going to come spend a day with me as a new mom, a single mama, okay? Doing it on her own, getting it out the mud. <laughs> But yeah, y'all also gonna see my son. He got so big, y'all, like so big. But anyways, enough chitter chatter. Let's get the day. Okay, so while he's still sleeping, he's literally knocked out. I am gonna go ahead and put on my perfume. Now, this is literally the perfume that I wear when I'm going out. Like tonight, I'm gonna be wearing this, which is the only reason why I'm putting it on now because I really want, you know, I just, I was gonna wear something else, but I'm, just, I'm gonna use this one, okay? So this one is the Aquatic Vanilla. This is inspired by Juliet Has a Gun. So all of their Juliet Has a Gun vanilla vibes. I believe the retail price for that is like $115. And then you can get this on Dossier for like $29. I think they sell it for. Um, but yeah, all of their perfumes come in a 50 milliliter, 50 milliliter bottle like this. Dossier, if you're not hip to what they are, they are an online based fragrance website. They give you guys like candles home stuff like oil reed diffusers perfumes colognes they have scents for women and men they also have unisex scents they also have dupes for like versace um chanel tom ford like girl anything you want go on dossier and i guarantee they probably have the scent that you're looking for which i think is great so you don't have to spend all your money like you know getting a designer perfume and you don't really know how it's going to work with your body chemistry like you can literally try the same thing for a fair affordable price so like i said this one is inspired by juliet has a gun vanilla vibes this one's my favorite i get the most compliments on this scent and i literally love it it has top notes of marine red fruits and rose i'm really surprised that it has rose in it because i'm not a huge rose fan but it has that in there it also have middle notes of vanilla orchard and coconut i could definitely smell that coconut and then the base notes is base notes is musk, sandalwood, and brazen. I don't know how to say that girl, but they do have the notes here. They also have a box that it comes in. I do have a candle by them, the floral marshmallow. This is the one that I'm currently using. I'm burning it down, but like, look at that. Their candles last so long, y'all. Like, let me show you guys the other candle that I have gotten from them. So yeah, this is my new candle by them. This one is actually a rose scented one. It's called like Floral Rose, I think. Yeah, this is Floral Rose. This is what all their cards, with all their packaging comes, comes with this little card. The perfumes come with the card as well. And then look at this, y'all. This is so big. I just showed you guys my old one. Like I literally got that probably like three months ago and I still have it. So these candles last a long time. This one kind of smells like cinnamon, like. It kind of reminds me of Christmas for some reason. I like it, but I'm not like super obsessed with the scent. My favorite scent is floral marshmallow when it comes to the candles. But yeah, so make sure you guys check out Dossier. I will have their links down below. I'm going to go ahead and spray some of this on. Oh, this is my favorite scent, y'all. Like, if you want to know what I smell like, it's this. Like, this is my signature scent. I wear this when I go out. Don't matter where I'm going, I'm wearing aquatic, aquatic vanilla, so... That is my perfume. Thank you, Dossier, for sponsoring today's video. Check them out down below. Um, right now, I'm going to go ahead and do his laundry, especially since he's sleeping. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to fix his bottles, get his diaper bag together, um, because I'm pretty sure my Walmart order is going to be ready soon. So, yeah, it's going to be a cute little montage of me doing my mommy do.
Look at her. Look at her, woman, man. Look at her. That ain't my. That ain't my. That ain't my girl. That's my nigga. Catch me out on Ocean Drive with her. Catch me in the whip, ride with her. Hey, sipping something, bumping big, hypnotized with her. Pray you get that job in Tampa. That's only four hours away. Take a car, take a plane, baby, whichever is faster. Oh, whichever one is in a household. Oh, damn, yeah, man. Oh, never knew, no, I never knew that you be a freak and a friend, too. Yeah, you into everything I'm into. Oh, I got something that I can lend you. Oh, a peace of mind, baby. Come and get a peace of mind. Yeah. Say you gotta work from three to nine. Oh, I get you home by a decent time. Wait, your bed, you can sleep in mine. Yeah, let's make it happen, girl. I need some time. Speaking of time, who stopped it? That's the feeling that I get when we lock lips. I got the weed at the crib and the liquor too. I f your soul, I release in your spiritual. I be your muse, bring your easel and pencils. So here you go, you try and tease with them pictures. You could ride on me just like you ride the elliptical. She said, I'm trying to keep it tight for my nigga. Girl, I like your last nigga. All I need is mental. You know, I'll work you out, get you right with your feelings. Okay, so I just finished organizing his laundry, putting it away and doing his bottles he's actually starting to whine a little bit he's been asleep for a long time probably like two hours he's been asleep so i am going to go ahead and make his bottle now y'all i am formula feeding i was trying to breastfeed but y'all that breastfeeding was not working for us i swear i was not producing milk like too i tried to like pump i swear nothing was coming out so honestly y'all listen i know breastfed is like the ideal way to go like ideally you want to breastfeed and it's like better for the babies i agree like i thought that i was gonna like breastfeed him and it was just gonna be great but y'all it wasn't working out for us and honestly using formula is better for us in our situation so i am formula feeding i know some people might feel away about that but listen a fed baby is the best okay <laughs> um he does drink the similac soy and um the reason why I put him on soy, his pediatrician also too said that this is fine for him because once I put him on soy, I started to read stuff about estrogen. Apparently there's estrogen in soy, I don't know. And some people are like, oh, if you have a boy, be careful with soy formula. So it was a whole thing, but I asked his pediatrician at his last doctor's appointment, which was probably like, I think a few days ago, cause he just got his, his two month checkup and he got his shot. So she was like, He's completely fine. He can drink the soy. There's nothing wrong with this. So before y'all get the tussling in my comments, okay? His pediatrician said that it was fine for him. I switched him to soy because he was on the Similac sensitive and that was like messing with his stomach. And um, he kept crying when he was trying to use the bathroom. His, his number two was like really, really, really like, it was just a lot going on. And I noticed that once I switched him to this, he has been so much better. He doesn't cry as much he doesn't whine as much it does say it's for fussiness and gas on here as well and i have noticed that he has been less fussy and his gas hasn't been that bad but yeah so this is the formula formula that he uses um i'm gonna go ahead and make his bottle also the bottles that i use is the tommy tippy yeah i think that's how you say it tommy tippy bottles this is the anti-colic bottles that i got off amazon i'll link these down below we were using the Dr. Brown bottles, but y'all, the Dr. Brown bottles, not only do they have so many damn parts, okay, like, that got annoying trying to wash all those parts, but for two, they kept leaking everywhere, like, they started leaking, and it was getting on my nerves, and I had already had this bottle, because I got this from Ross, um, when I was shopping for him, so I had already had these, and I was like, he started liking these, at first he didn't like these when he was first born, um, oh god, y'all, he's starting to cry. At first he didn't like these, but then he started liking them. So then I was like, and these don't leak. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to just buy these. So now he uses the Tommy Tipper bottles. I do have some, um, what do you call it? It's like formula, like to go containers that are for these bottles. I'll show you guys when they come. But I ordered them on Amazon. Like you can pre-measure the formula and take it with you to go because it's annoying as hell trying to take this big ass can of formula when you're trying to leave. I have to like put it in a different container. So yeah. Yeah, he now drinks four ounces of formula. So 
I'm gonna go ahead and make that because he's already whining. I do have to change his diaper and stuff. Like I said, he's been sleep for a minute. I was able to do my makeup. I was able to get dressed, take a shower. Like I did a lot of stuff while he was sleeping and do his laundry. Like I cleaned up. I spent time with God. Like I literally did a lot while he was sleeping. I even talked y'all ear off before, you know, waking him up. So I got his bottle ready for when he officially wakes up it's 12 it's about to be one so i'm about to head to the bank after this and then like i said i do have a walmart order to pick up so yeah you guys will see him very soon i know y'all like girl we sick of seeing you we want to see him y'all about to see him in just a second because he literally was crying actually let me just show y'all now so because he's in his swing so there he is swinging away I have his little play mat back there that I got got off of Amazon as well. So I might put him, let him do that. But he's still kind of sleeping. Like he's crying, but he's like working his way up to wake up. So yeah, but I'm going to pick him up very soon. I took off his mittens because he started sucking on his fingers, y'all. Like he likes to suck on his fingers now. He be talking. Well, not like talking, but you know, making little baby sounds. Um, what else he be doing? He be sitting up now. So yeah, once he officially wakes up and I feed him, then I'll show y'all him. Hi, Stinky Man. He like, why would she wake me up? You wanna say hi? Hi, <laughs> honey. Y'all, he's literally like still sleeping. He's still sleepy. He's like, why? What? Say hi, Papa. <laughs> Yo, yeah. yeah, he is over me. You say hi? Y'all, he would have kept sleeping, but we got to run some errands. So before we do, I just want to make sure that I change his diaper because, you know, we don't want to be in the streets with a wet diaper. So, he hates getting his diaper changed. I know, Papa. Mama should have just left you be, huh? You got to run errands with Mama. I'm Dawi. Oh, Papa. Okay, Mommy, be quick. Mama, be quick. Mama, be quick, okay? He was sleeping so good, y'all. Like, <laughs> Honestly, if we didn't have to leave, I would have just let him sleep, but I know, Papa and say Mama, I was sleeping so good and so peaceful. <laughs> okay, let me change his diaper, get him together. Oh. <laughs> Papa Bear just finished eating. Look at him. Papa, get into him. Uh, yeah, I need to brush his hair, you guys. Y'all, he was born with so much hair, and I thought that he was going to, like, lose some of his hair, but he literally hasn't really lost any hair. Maybe in the back, but not even, but not really. And he does have cradle cap as well. Like, he got little flakes in his hair. His scalp is a little dry, but the doctor, his pediatrician, told me that it'll go away after a while, and she can give me some shampoo for him as well if it gets super bad. You ready to go, Papa? Are you ready? Are you ready? You ready? <laughs> you gotta say hi to the people. They haven't seen you. Actually, I don't even know if y'all seen him when he was first born. But, yeah, he had his bath yesterday. I give him a bath every other day now. Because, I don't know, that just works for us. But I'm about to put his little thing on. This is from Cozy Cub. He's actually sponsored by Cozy Cub on my other channel. Um, so yeah, he gets a lot of clothes. If y'all noticed when I was putting his clothes away earlier, his drawers are literally packed with clothes. Like I cannot wait to get rid of some of that stuff. Like he can still kind of fit a lot of that stuff, which is why I haven't gotten rid of it. Y'all, my son is like big, like. He could fit, like, what he's wearing right now is size one to three months, but he could wear three to six months. Like, he has stuff in there that's three to six months, and he could literally fit it. So, he still has, like, stuff that's, like, zero to three months. Like, this shirt he has on is zero to three months. And he can still kind of fit it, which is why I haven't, like, thrown nothing away. But, honey, the moment he can't, he can't fit this stuff no more, I'm getting rid of it because 
He literally doesn't have any room. I'm so sick of these little flakes in his hair. Hey, Papa. My baby's growing so big. Papa's growing so big. Look, Papa. Say hi. You did it before. Hey, say hi, Papa. Hey, Papa. You see yourself? You see yourself in the viewfinder. You see, Papa? You like it? Yeah, you like it. <laughs> but yeah, this is my big papa, my big man, my big dog. This is my big dog. He like girl, bye. <laughs> okay. Well, the next time you see us, we should hopefully be in the car. Because I keep saying that, but we're not going. Someone is in their car seat and they are ready to go. He's trying to eat his fingers, but I'm debating if I want to take his mittens off or not. But here's my papa. Hi, papa. Hey, papa. He's looking at the camera like, what? <laughs> but let me hurry up just in case he start crying. But yeah, I'm going to put his blankets down. And we are ready to go. Y'all, we are in the car. I'm about to pick up my Walmart order. There was a point in time where I used to be so scared, like, going out with him, like, anxious. Because I was like, what if he start crying in the store? And what if I can't calm him down? And blase, blah, blase, blue. Like, ugh, that used to be just freaking me out. But now... God, why is you in the middle of the way move anyways <laughs> but yeah y'all so i'm picking up my walmart order i got this little mirror thing too so i can finally see him because there was a point in time where i didn't even have that so i have that now i love the curbs i pick up y'all i've been doing this ever like my last trimester of being pregnant i did this and like i utilize it heavy when he was born because who's going inside and trying to grocery shop with a newborn but anyway let me let these people know that i'm here what number is this okay i'm in nine i love this y'all like now i just be using the curbs i pick up because i just be lazy and sometimes i have them delivered to my house but if i know i'm gonna be out like i knew today i had to go to the bank so it's just like girl just go pick up your order like that's the least i can do is pick up my order wait what did y'all get my spot i said number nine done Okay, there we go. Did they get it? I keep hitting number nine and it's just like... All right, there we go. There we go. Now they got it. Um, right now, he's not crying, but sometimes he does cry. And if he cries, I'd rather him cry in the car than to cry in the store. Because, yeah. Because sometimes after he cries, he goes straight to sleep. Oh, hi. Hi. Yes, and I have a bag um right here in the back seat on the ground. You could just use that one. Okay. So yeah. Where do you want me to put this in here? In the back yep, just leave it back there. Yeah, on the ground. <laughs> and then after this, I'm gonna go to the bank. Okay, so she just put all my groceries in there. I should check before I leave, but I never do. <laughs> I just be driving off um but yeah right now i'm about to head to the bank we really don't have nothing else to do after this like i don't have any other outside errands to run with him um because later on like i said i am going out to have like my little mommy time but that's not till later tonight and then right now i'm about to go to the bank so i love using the curbside pickup thing because y'all trying to go out like oh my god that guy is so annoying every time he see me he always try to like ask me for my number girl oh my god i'm so glad i didn't go in the store but um he's an older man too anyway nothing wrong with that but no he like my grandpa old. like it's not giving zaddy it's giving hi oh dang i wish i had something to give to this man i probably oh i got food back there anyways there was a homeless man i was like dang i should have had anyways 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 what was i saying girl i forgot what i said Oh yeah, I love the curbside pickup because don't who feel like bringing in a newborn and trying to shop with him? Even though right now he's not, I don't think he's considered a newborn anymore. I think once they turn seven weeks, they're like just a regular baby infant. I don't know, but he's technically not a newborn anymore. But I love using the curbside pickup and stuff because it's just easier. Like I don't have to, and he's heavy as hell too, y'all. Like trying to carry him and put him in a car and then walk around and it's just like, girl, it's just team too much sometimes. But he hasn't been out the house in a minute because it's been super cold lately. So 
He's just looking around, looking at the stuff, talking to himself. <laughs> but I love this little um, mirror thing. And then I got this big ass car seat because, I mean stroller because um, my trunk is full. I need to clean out my, I honestly need to clean out my car in general. So maybe I'll do that. I might um, get dressed with you guys on camera, but I'm not gonna vlog me going out because I'm not gonna lie. I like to spend my time, like when I have that time by myself, I like to take that time by myself. So I might vlog me getting dressed later, but I'm probably not gonna vlog like me actually being out because this is a mommy vlog, not a not a personal vlog per se, but it is, but it's not, I don't know. But I'm gonna go get some money at the bank and then I might clean out my car and then I'll see y'all once we get back to the house. Baby boy just made it home and I have a package. This should be, I thought it was gonna come tomorrow. I forgot tomorrow's Saturday, but it literally said like, it didn't even tell me that it was out for delivery or nothing. So I'm really surprised that it came today, but yeah, this is the formula things. Baby boy is sleeping, honey. He is knocked out. I plan on using it for nighttime feedings as well. Because it's just going to be easier. So, this is what it looks like. This is the Tommy Tippy Day Out um, little formula dispenser thing. This is what it looks like. I'm going to show you guys on one of his old bottles. Literally, you just pour how much formula you want inside of it. This is about to be game changer for me. So I don't got to be scooping in the middle of the night or when I go out somewhere. I don't got to take that big old can or I don't have to put it in a different like container. It's, it's supposed to fit inside of the Tommy Tipper bottles. This is old formula, so he ain't going to drink this. But you put it in like this and then you put your screw thing on and your cap on and literally you just have the formula. I literally ran into my mom at the... um. My mom and my little brother, I, I ran into them at the gas station. It was the funniest thing. Um, but yeah, so she was like, yeah, I'm still, I still want to keep Jiraiya. So she told me she get off pretty late. She'll probably, which means I probably won't make it to like the restaurants. It's probably like, because I want Applebee's to their happy hour. So I'll probably make it there at like 830. Y'all have this new light. I be switching from topic to topic, as y'all can see. I have this light, like, look how it looks without the light. Like, what? This light is game changer. I got off of Amazon. I'll link it down below. But yeah, so. Yes, these finally came in. I'll link these down below as well. I need to make an Amazon um, storefront. So, yes, I'm finna wash all of these. And I'm actually finna utilize them now. Like, I'm not just gonna use it for when I'm going out. Just because I feel like it's going to be very game changer for me. I won't have to sit up here and keep scooping all day. I just put the scoops in here and pour it out when I'm ready. But all right, so my little man, he is sleeping. Let me show y'all. He is literally knocked out. Look at him. Knocked out. So I'm going to wash those cups in. Okay, so Stinky Man is playing in his little play on his play mat thing. Sometimes he just stares at it. And then sometimes he'll swing at the toys that are on there. Um, right now he's just kind of looking around. I just changed his stanky diaper. But I wanted to show you guys the Tommy Tipper little things. Okay, so this is what it looks like inside the bottle. So I have it in a clean bottle. And you don't have to put water in it, but I feel like to make it easier. Like I'm, I'm thinking about this like during the night, like in the middle of the night. So literally all I have to do, take the top off like this. Okay. And then you might have a little bit of water on you, but yeah, see, so here it is. You take this little top off and you just pour it in like that. So I think this is super convenient. I love the fact that it fits inside of the bottle itself. I've never seen nothing like this before. Yeah, they're talking about it holds eight scoops. Literally, this is only two scoops of formula and the thing is already halfway full. I don't know if y'all can see that. Yeah, it's already halfway full off of two scoops, but... I'm not really tripping off of that. And plus, I already read the reviews where people were saying that it doesn't fit all eight scoops. But I don't know what they was thinking. Like, I don't know. But yeah, it definitely does not fit eight scoops of formula. But I will link it down below if you have a little if you have a little baby that is also formula fed. Then let me show you guys him what he's doing. He's gonna be like, Mom, what? So here's little man. Playing on his little playmate. 
There he is. You say hi. You want to play? Look. Yes, Papa, yuck. Yes, Papa, yuck. <laughs> yeah, he's probably like, what is going on? But I'm about to clean up this mess. And I also need to figure out... Um, I need to figure out what I want to wear for tonight because I literally I have an idea, but then again, I don't have an idea. I think the Apple, there's two, Applebee's has two happy, happy hours. They have a three to six, which is the one that I usually go to. Cause like I said, I usually leave out early, like actually around this time. So it's like 4.15 right now. This is usually around the time when I, when I start heading to the restaurant and I do be bar hopping too. So I'll start at Applebee's and then I'll go to Ram or I'll go to the bowling alley and sit at their bar or I'll go to the Mexican restaurant. Like it literally just depends. And then we have like little mom and pop like restaurants around here. So I mean, not restaurants, bars. We have like a little mom and pop bars. The one that I met Jariah's dad at, we have that one, but I don't really be going in there because it get a little crazy. I don't like to be in there by myself. And then there's another one that Jariah's dad also goes to um but he don't be there when i be there because he be there like later in the night i be there early so but yeah i also don't kind of like going there by myself either because that place can also get a little crazy so i don't always go to those two but sometimes i'll go in there but yeah i do be bar hopping so i'll start at one spot and then i'll go to somewhere else but i don't know if i'm gonna do that tonight i might just do applebee's but honestly this is pretty much it for like the day in the life he pretty much sleeps for most of the day right now he's just staring at the stars on his play mat and then or he'll just like kind of sit up and look around or he'll get in his swing and then he usually falls asleep like he don't really be doing much but while he's sleeping that's when i usually kind of like get things together like i clean his bottles and stuff so hopefully this was a good mommy vlog i think i'm gonna end the video right here because i don't really we're not really gonna be doing much of anything else he's literally just gonna play on his play mat or go to sleep or sit in his swing and then i'm gonna figure out what i'm gonna wear y'all let me know if y'all want me to like make a vlog of me going out as like a single mom let me know because i don't want to add that into this vlog because i feel like it's already long enough but yeah if this is the end of this vlog thank you guys so much for watching and catching up you know i just appreciate y'all a lot i definitely want to post more like do a morning routine night routine we don't night routine is kind of hard because we don't really have a routine but the morning time we pretty much have like the same things we do every day so yeah if y'all want to see that let me know if y'all want to see more of these types of vlogs let me know i feel like i didn't really show him i just kind of talked a lot but yeah i will definitely make another one he's about to cry he is over the playmat so let me grab him so he can say bye to y'all okay 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 you don't want to play today you're not in the mood for that he said, I'm not in the mood for that. His hair is so crazy today. Like, really, the moment I want to show you on camera, your hair is crazy, son. Uh, I brushed it this morning, but he been sleeping, so I got crazy. But yeah, so this is the end of my mommy vlog episode one. I plan on doing more of these mommy vlogs and showing more of my son, especially as he gets older and he starts doing stuff. Y'all let me know if y'all like these types of videos. I will definitely film more. Also, make sure you check out Dossier down below, okay, in the description box. Check them out. And yeah, that is it. That's all I have for y'all today. It's four o'clock, but we ain't finna be doing nothing but chilling. So say bye. Say bye, Papa. Y'all, he is so focused on, I don't know, looks like he's looking at the blinds. Say bye bye. <laughs> he don't want to say bye, y'all. He, he too busy looking at whatever is over there. You want to say bye now? Huh? You want to say bye, Papa? No? Okay. Bye, you guys, and I will see you guys. Oh, yeah, make sure you check out my links down below i'm gonna try to link everything that i mentioned in this video so check out the description box also don't forget to follow me on all of my social medias and i will see you guys in my next video bye you guys bye you guys <laughs> bye y'all